Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Now this is the part six of NEET MDS 2020 question, question paper series. In this channel, I'll be covering all the previous year question paper of NEET MDS. So I hope it will be helpful to all. Now let's start the video. So the first question was during access uh, during access cavity preparation for endodontic treatment, part of orifice remain covered by axial wall or incomplete removal of pulpal floor is done. So this type of problem in access preparation is called, the options are rabbit hole preparation, uh, trap door preparation, mouse hole preparation and tunnel preparation. So the correct answer is option C, mouse hole preparation. Now, the next question so a 45 year old male patient comes with pain in tooth and the pain is spontaneous and occurs since last two days on examination lower right molar is carious and sensitive on percussion the patient complains of severe pain this indicates the options are acute irreversible pulpitis with symptomatic apical periodontitis the option b is acute irreversible pulpitis without apical periodontitis Option C is a chronic irreversible pulpitis with acute apical periodontitis. And the option D is chronic irreversible pulpitis without acute apical periodontitis. So the correct option is option A, acute irreversible pulpitis with symptomatic apical periodontitis. So it is symptomatic apical periodontitis because the patient is having uh, pain on uh, percussion. And the patient is, is having spontaneous pain since last two days. Now, uh, the next question is, all are supplemental anesthetic techniques in endodontics, except the options are intraligament, intraosseous, inferior alveolar, and intrapulpal. So the correct answer is inferior alveolar, because inferior alveolar is the uh, primary injection technique. So uh, the next question is, which of the following is not used as a retrograde filling material in periapical treatment. The options are EBA, diacate, MTA, and endomethazone. So the correct answer is option D, endomethazone. Endomethazone is zinc oxi oxide eugenol based concealer. It is used for orthograde uh, filling material. Then the next question is, occlusal bevel in class two inlay for metal is given to improve the options are retention form, re B is the resistance form, the C is remove unsupported enamel, and the D is marginal integrity. So the correct answer is option D, marginal integrity. Now moving to the next question. A 16-year-old female suffers traumatic labial luxation of right upper central incisor one day before. What treatment should be done? So the options are no treatment, wait and watch, B is extraction of luxated central incisor. The option C is immediate endodontic treatment of tooth and splinting for three to four months. And D is do functional splinting for one to two weeks and do RCT after seven to 10 days if needed. So the correct answer is answer D. Option D, uh, do the functional splinting for one to two weeks and do RCT after seven to day, two, uh, 10 days if needed. Now moving to the next question. The next question is, which of the following traumatic dental injury will show gingival clavicular bleeding? So the option are Ellis class, class 1, Ellis class 2, contusion and subluxation. So the correct answer is option D, subluxation. Now moving to the next question. The next question is dynamic test to re-evaluate the tendency for bleeds of a burr to pass through a single point. So the options are concentricity, run out, eccentricity, rake angle. So the correct answer is option B, run out. Now the next question is barbed approach is usually taken to the apex of a tooth for complete extirpation of pulp tissue during root canal therapy. This is done because the options are more vascular tissue in the canal. Option B is collagenous fibers more it at the apex. The option C is pulp more fragile at the apex and the option D is loose tissue and increased gag at the apex. So the correct option is option B. Collagenous fibers are 
node at the apex. Now the next question is, so the next question is, wedge shape defect in cervical region of a tooth due to occlusal stress leads to micro fractures of enamel. These defects are called, the options are erosion, attrition, abfraction and abrasion. So the correct answer is option C, abfraction. Now the uh, next question is, true regarding GP points. So the options are, it consists of 50 to 60 percent gut aperture. B is chemically bonds to dentinal wall. So option C is, it can be heat sterilized. And D is color coded according to the size. So option D is the correct answer. Because gutta percha points cannot be heat sterilized and it cannot be, it is not chemically bond to the dentinal wall and it consists of 50 to 60 percent zinc oxide. So the option D is the correct answer. Now moving to the next question. So the next question is mechanism of action of carbamide peroxide in bleaching. So the carbamide per peroxide in uh, options are formation of sodium perborate and water upon heat, the next uh, heat application, the next option is formation of H2O2 on contact with saliva. The next option is formation of sodium peroxide and carb carbamides upon breakdown of carbamide peroxide. And option D is hydrolysis of peptide bond on contact with the tooth surface. So basically, carbamide peroxide is a stable complex that breaks down in contact with water to release H2O2. So because uh, carbamide peroxide releases H2O2, H2O2 is uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide is responsible for the tooth whitening. So option B is the correct answer. That is formation of H2O2 on contact with the saliva. Now, thank you all. I hope uh, this video was helpful to you. And if you have any query or suggestion, then please let me know in the comment section. And till then, take care and happy learning. Thank you.